Hello, my name is Amir Amirani. I'm a film director based in London, and I made a documentary film called We Are Many. It tells the story of the global demonstrations against the Iraq war that happened in, on the 15th of February 2003 all over the world. I was on that demonstration not as a filmmaker, but as a citizen. And it was obvious to me that this was a historic turning point. It was an unprecedented historical event. It was a, a coordinated protest around the world before the war started, and it happened on every continent in around 800 cities in 72 countries. I believe the story needed to be told for a number of reasons. It was a mass mobilization that deserved to be told on its own merit, but also it deserved to be told for posterity, so that in future politicians and historians could not rewrite history to say that there was no opposition to this war. Furthermore, because the mainstream media coverage was so poor, to this day, many people around the world don't know the scale of the demonstrations. So it could have passed into history without the majority of people knowing that this was an enormous opposi uh, global opposition from which they could and should take heart and draw strength. But there's also another reason that this story needed to be told. Since the protest was ignored by the governments that took us to war, some people have regarded it as a failure. And I think that that would be both an incorrect and dangerous lesson to draw from that event. And I would argue that no mass protest, especially for peace, should be or could be regarded as a failure. In fact, I would argue that the film shows that we need a longer perspective to assess the question of success and failure of a demonstration like that. The film shows that whilst it didn't stop the war in 2003, it sowed the seeds for the demonstrations in Egypt and the movement that grew to topple Mubarak in 2011, and it shifted public opinion in such a way that in 2013, the parliament in the UK voted against the plans to launch another attack on Syria, and that stayed the hands of the US government long enough to secure a peaceful resolution. In terms of the tribunal, I would quote Colonel Lawrence Wilkerson, the former chief of staff to, Colonel, uh, to US Secretary of State Colin Powell, who told us that if it was his choice for Dick Cheney, Donald Rumsfeld and George Bush to go before a tribunal, and for that tribunal to be successful, if he had to be convicted alongside them, he would do it in a heartbeat. And yet we know that to this day, neither in the US nor in the UK, has there been any kind of accountability for these people who took us to war or any kind of convictions. We now know that those responsible were not just those key officials, but many in and around those administrations and many in the media who were cheerleaders for the war. In the UK, the long awaited Chilcot inquiry into the war has come and gone with almost no fanfare or analysis. And a recent freedom Freedom of Information request has shown that the inquiry was expressly set up to avoid the apportioning of blame. Most of the people who came out on the 15th of February 2003 were first timers who still had a faith in democracy. Many of those millions lost their faith in the democratic process on that fateful day and in our political institutions and in leaders. That loss of trust has been toxic for our societies to this day, and we are living with that legacy. Those millions of people warned against the carnage that would ensue from that immoral and illegal war based on lies. The biggest victims, of course, have been the Iraqi people who still suffer from the consequences. And one of those consequences, amongst many, is ISIS or Daesh. Nothing that's happened in the 13 years since the start of that war has given hope to those millions of people and to the Iraqis for any kind of justice or accountability from successive administrations. And my fear is that people will wait in vain for that accountability, without which there can never be true peace or progress. If this tribunal can in some way move the dial in the direction of accountability, then it will be a worthwhile contribution. Thank you.